All right, guys, welcome back. This is, I believe, it's going to be episode number five. And we're kind of rolling through this. It's going to be a little, like, cut and paste around. I mean, we're, we're you can see our mandates now, four years, one month. We just finished the initial episode on the uh, raids and military. Although, we're going to probably pick that back up as soon as we get a pirate raid. So, uh, I keep saying pirate raid as soon as they start attacking. So, for this one, I think... What we need, we really need to focus on is uh, we, we're going to look at traffic and infrastructure for this episode. However, I do need to start building some public services and some um, media and education. I really need to get those going. So we might kind of blend these into the next three videos might be blended in a little together. So since we don't have much construction, we actually are still working on the fort. We got that going and we got the guard tower going. So let's focus. Let's go ahead and do traffic and infrastructure first. Now, what I'm thinking, guys, is I actually want to relocate this dock. And you can do this, 2,500, and look, we don't have anything in here. I'm pointing at my screen, you can't see that. But we have uh, $0 in revenue right now. So there's, if we move this, I don't think it's gonna matter. I actually really haven't done, dealt with this much. So I'm actually gonna relocate this dock because this I want this to be the main road. You see how this road right here? I did this on purpose. It's just dead straight, dead straight all the way down to the Pirate Cove. This is going to be kind of our main stretch of road. I know the rum distillery is right here. It's a little bit of a stretch, but I think we're going to build the dock right here. You can see how the ships are coming in from this side and they have to go all the way down to here. It's going to save a little bit of time, I think. Maybe not a whole lot, but that's one thing to pay attention to when you're thinking about traffic and infrastructure. It's also, you got to think of freighters. So what would happen is they come in from the same way. You see this one's actually, I think this one's going... Is this one going in or out? Something does oh. not but here's our progression. So, again, this is all going to blend into part of the game. This is our progression to the World Wars. <laughs> all right, Penultimo, our trusty sidekick. So, we need to have this is kind of this is a bit confusing, but it, all, it will make sense. We need to have an average revolutionary's approval, 57 out of 60, and we need to have a percentage of population supporting revolutionaries, 42 out of 60. Now, stay tuned for that. I'm not going to talk about that yet. That'll be in a separate video. But we're gonna go ahead and get this task accepted so you see i was looking at this this freighter is going out i guess this one's coming in so what i was thinking and if we have they're, they're gonna come in from this side every time so if you had a dock like way over here or like around here it would i think they would still have to go all the way around it would just take some time and it's just it doesn't look great i like having my docks kind of near where the ships come in at least starting out it's not a huge deal just something i like so we're gonna relocate this guy uh, partially because I don't want things, I want things going this way. I want my traffic flow going. What will happen is Teamsters will come here, they'll pick up sugar, they'll deposit it into the rum distillery, and then they'll take it to the dock. Instead of going through all this, I just want them going down this road, just straight down this road. We're going to build more industry over here. We're probably going to build some more raw resources here. And then the dock, I think I'm going to relocate it right there. So let's do that. That's going to be, it's not mandated, you don't have to do this, guys. Like, don't feel like you have to relocate your dock. It's not that big of a deal. But, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put it right there. I'm going to build a road right across. Perfect. And I could end up building a second road, actually. I may do that. Uh, let me look and, let me, let me just do some testing here. Plantation, if we put that one back. So, let's, let's actually just build another one forward there. And then I'm going to build a road just straight across. So, we're going to have two roads just going straight across. And there's a reason I did this, and I'll show you right here. Boom, look at that just another straight road you don't have to do straight roads you can do curvy roads bendy roads you can make a circle if you want to it doesn't matter i like having straight roads just in the colonial era because i think it just looks like how a colonial town would be just straight roads if you go to you know a place you know any a lot of places like downtown old school buildings roads it's just straight it's flat and that's how i like i want this to be at least in this main part when we start getting over here i'll make i mean it'll be different i'm not like picky about that so I'm going to hit play for a second. It's still thundering right now. Um, if you watched the last video, I don't know if that'll come across on the microphone. But we need to focus on a few things. We've got some tasks going on. we got a, another trade route. And let's look at this. It says fulfill export trade route. So we need to look at that, actually, because this is kind of dealing with... It's a little bit dealing with traffic and infrastructure. It's a whole separate aspect of the game. Uh, we need to export trade route. And let's sort by this. We can sort by export. Um, I don't we need rum and I don't see any rum. So that's not gonna work. Uh, we don't have we're not producing anything else right now So that's not gonna work um, Let's actually pause the game for a second. Let's look at what we got. Let's look at our options here So we have obviously road demolish those are two, you know, you're gonna use those all the time We have a dock 
Uh, now, docks in this game are, if you've played Tropico 5, you need multiple docks for trading. Uh, in this game, you don't. You don't need it. There's a capacity of a thousand units for each. Uh, so if we did a trade here, so let's say we uh, let's say we import ROM. If we did 12,000, it would take 12,000 shipments. They only ship a thousand units at a time. And you see this 1K units. So if we did 12,000, it would take 12 freighters going back and forth. And if you had two docks, so if I built a second dock, it wouldn't be twice as fast. They would separate it 500 to 500. So that's a little tricky in this game. You really don't need multiple docks, if, especially on the same island. Now, if we had like resources over here, I could build another dock over here instead of having to build a teamster port and transporting them to the dock. I could just have a second dock on this island. So it is useful, but starting out, you don't need two docks. There's really no reason for it. And they cost a lot. I mean, 90, oh, I didn't even do that. 9,600, that's a lot for a dock. You know, we, we'd only have 40,000 right now, so that's a lot. But anyway, let's just focus on traffic and infrastructure. So we got construction office. Uh, you really only need two of those starting out. And even then, you don't need that many. I mean, do not, don't build more than two of these in the colonial area because what you can do is you could actually just come here and upgrade four more job positions. And you could do the same on a second one. So you could have 20, you could have 20 construction officers. That is, that, that is more than enough. As you can see, we only have 132 jobs total. We really don't need... I mean, it just depends on how quickly you're wanting to build. We really don't need more than two construction offices. And right now, we only have 12 workers since I don't have the upgrade yet. Uh, but I probably will do that soon. Maybe towards the end of the colonial era. Uh, Teamsters, this is a this is a this probably one of the most asked questions about this game, about this series. Uh, especially this game because it is a little, it's, uh, it's a little unique and there's a lot of kind of trial and error with it. Uh, I'm really going to focus on that probably on this episode, but we're still, you know, we're still taking a little time and there's so many factors that play into Teamsters. I could do a whole nother episode on Teamsters. So if you're watching this right now and don't really understand Teamsters, and even if you do, I mean, like I said, guys, I'm not a pro with this game. I just enjoy playing it. I played a lot of sandbox modes and it, it's just really fun to me. And I have looked a lot about the logistics of how things work and you know, there's so many factors. It's not just cut and dry like, oh, I have four sugar plantations, so I need two Teamsters offices. It's not It's not that cut and dry because, well, for one, they have a budget. And if I crank, let's look at, let's see if we can find one. So look at this dude. Let's look at this guy. Uh, or excuse me, let's look at Anna. Miss Anna, 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 I don't know. Um, she's got a capacity of 500. So let's let's crank this up. Let's look at what happens when I do this. It's going to increase the budget by 40. That's a lot. We really don't need to do that. Let's look at it now. Miss Anna's got a uh, capacity of 625. So that goes up 125 just by cranking the budget. So there's so many external factors that come into play with Teamsters. And I don't mess with the budgets in the colonial era. Uh, I'm going to leave that at three. One thing you can also do is loose load limit. So if we do this, we do loose load limit on the work mode. It's going to set capacity to 750. But you, there's a chance they lose 10% of their cargo, and that's really not worth it to me. I mean, at, at some point, everything's going to get exported anyway, unless you're just getting backed up and overloaded uh, in the stock. So we're just going to leave it. Uh, what we will do is we're going to build Teamsters all along here. We're going to build a lot of Teamsters all along here. And the reason why is you want your Teamsters between your dock and your resources. So right now, this is not doing us any good. Teamsters office down here means, let's look at this. So let's look at Angel, Angel, Angel Ramos, Ramos. I don't, I'm not saying it right. I, anyway, let's look at what he's doing. He is taking sugar from this plantation right here. He's taking sugar from that highlighted plantation to this rum distillery. So let's say this is his final job for the day. He's taking sugar from this plantation to this rum, rum distillery. Now, what would happen if the Teamsters office was just like right here? Like what happens if the Teamsters office is right here? All he does, he takes sugar to the rum distillery and then he just goes and parks his little buggy and then he's done for the day. Instead, he's got to drive all the way. He probably just got out here. He's got to drive all the way to the sugar plantation, take that to the rum distillery. And then if that's his last task for the day, he's got to drive all the way back here and park in the Teamsters office and then exit. So that, that's such unnecessary travel. So there's no reason to have your Teamsters office away from your resources. Now, what happens if he does sugar, he does plantation, then he goes to the rum distillery, and then he goes to rum distillery to dock? 
So he's got to go all the way down here, which is fine. I mean, it's it's a stretch, but you know that's where our rum distillery is right now. It's okay. We I mean, it would be the same difference if we had a rum distillery all the way down here. They would have to transport sugar to rum. So I put the dock here just because I like it better, and we're going to build more industry along this stretch, so it's going to work out fine. Uh, but they're going to have to drive all the way down here, and then if they or their Teamsters office is all the way back here, that's just another... It's unnecessary for them to have to travel all the way down this side of the road. And we're eventually going to move all this housing up here somewhere, maybe up on this, se on this section. So it's really tricky. What I'm saying is I can make a whole video on Teamsters, and if you guys are watching this right now, feel free to leave a comment if you have a YouTube account. Let me know what you think. And if you're an expert at this game, I mean, you probably already know what I'm talking about. You probably, you might have better ideas. I'm, I'm all about feedback and suggestions. And even if it's uh, positive and constructive criticism, I'm all about it. So what we need to do is you see how there's no sugar in here. We really need to focus on getting more Teamsters. Look how this is getting backed up. 1,300 sugar in here. So Miss Anna is only going to be able to transport 500 sugar out of this. So it's not even, it's still, you know, there's a lot of capacity still involved. That's still in the, uh, the out, in the out of uh, storage. So we need to build some more Teamsters so they can, they can get the sugar out quickly to the rum distillery. So we're actually producing here because what happens is nobody is currently working. You see how these are kind of faded out. If somebody was there, it would light up and this would be producing. But the problem is there's no sugar. So they're just working for nothing, basically. That's basically like having somebody working in a factory, but not having anything for them to produce. So they're just sitting there. They're doing nothing. So we need to make sure you don't see this empty box. We need to get that away. And it's going to take a little time, especially when you first start out. But we'll, we'll get it done. So Teamsters, I think what I'm going to do, and this might be kind of a long video. We've been recording for about 10, about 12 minutes. So we're going to build a Teamsters office right up here. And I think it fits pretty well. Uh, we could put like, I don't know. We can put several of these up here. We're just going to put one right here for now. Uh, that should be okay. Uh, we're going to high prioritize that because we don't need... Well, it's not going to really matter. I think we're going to get the fort. We did just get the fort up, so we'll talk about that once we get to the uh, the pirates attacking us. So let's. the Teamsters office is going to go up here. That's going to add six more job positions. It's going to add six more Teamsters. We do have an upgrade, but that's not to the World War era, so we can't do that until World War is where we can add basically double the job positions for no more overhead costs. That's a nice upgrade right there. So, one last thing. Housing is a huge, huge factor with Teamsters, with team, uh, excuse me, Teamsters, resource flow. It's such, such, such a huge deal because the problem is your, my housing right now is all the way down here, so people have to walk all the way up here to work. So my next my relocation of housing well that's some more lightning it's gonna be it's gonna be up here i believe and it's not gonna be perfect and you know i may i may kind of carve out a section here i just don't want housing like right behind the industry uh so we'll figure it out we'll figure it out it'll be all right but we got two rum distilleries we'll probably build a couple more honestly so i'm not gonna worry about it now but housing is going to be probably the next step so we're gonna get that teamsters office i think what i'm actually gonna do is go ahead and just build one more because we're going to need them. Uh, I mean, starting out, they don't cost that much money. We're going to need them. And what I could do is I'm going to end up relocating this guy too. So that's going to be a traffic and infrastructure. Uh, we're not going to talk about landing simple. If you, once you get, we'll probably be more into the, uh, into the World War era because we're not going to be expanding yet to another island. But this is just to get people from one island to the other. They can use any, any kind of dock, any fisherman's wharf. They can use the dock over here. So you don't have to build a landing on this island. They can just take off from the fisherman's wharf. And if you put a landing here, they can get access to this island. And they'll, they'll supply their own boats, their own paddle boats. And you don't have to worry about it. Teamster port, if we get resources on the other island, we can do that. Warehouse is a bit tricky. This is, this is one you don't need in colonial era. You really don't. It's, it's really, you don't need it because then you're just, you're, you're, it's basically holding, it's basically holding your cash. So it's good for cash flow. It's good for managing resources. But in colonial era, you need stuff exporting as soon as you can get it. So we don't need to store anything in the warehouse right now. We'll worry about that later if we even get to it. So anyway, hopefully this isn't too long a video. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, if you have any questions specifically about Teamsters, we'll probably get into that again in World War era. We'll probably go through each era of Teamsters because it's such a, it's such an important part of the game, at least for economy. So we'll get into that, guys. Hope you enjoy this video, and hope you're having a great day.